Okay, how's it guys? Not a lot of fishing today. <clears throat> Not a lot of video. But I've landed a couple of fish. I had some visitors over. Okay guys, today is November. The in the beginning of November. I normally show you all the fish, but not today. Today, I'm going to do a little bit of a change. Um, I've landed about six, seven, eight fish or something. 2.8, 2.5, uh, 2.2, 2 kilos, and a couple of two smaller ones. I'm on here with another fish here. So, um, I'm going to share with you how I make a trace. Okay, so this is probably not going to be a very long video. Uh, okay, because of, um, I'm always sh showing you my fish. So, but I am here at the water's edge trying to get the fish on the line for you guys. So, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks to all my viewers out there, um, you guys rock, and yeah, and a big thank you to Magic Bait, um, they are actually a very big sponsor in this, and to Fiskas, you guys, you keep my tackle box full, so yes, thanks to you guys, and I appreciate you a lot, alright, um, Fiskas, I'll put your, I've got Fiskas details on and um yeah so let's land this oki and see how big it is probably won't weigh it but uh, nonetheless we've got a fish on here okay so too much talking not enough fishing let us bag this one all right hi guys this is a clay reed flame so i'm using two hooks here they size one a hooks okay and then our swimmers already attached it to uh, to hook snoots. They around about 10, 13 centimeters long. It all depends on. I've got a spring, and then we're going to need two swivels, two single swivels, to um, one for top, one for bottom. If you're fishing with two hooks, and then what we're also going to need is beads. For this trace, we're going to need about three beads and two gummy stops okay so that's what we're going to need for this stray so we are going to start with the shaft the shaft i normally use a, a 15 pound fluorocarbons maximum fluorocarbon um for the shaft so yeah that's going to be almost the backbone of your trace right so we're going to start off here attaching uh, a swivel one single way swivel and i normally use a, a fig of eight knot for me the fig of eight knot is a it's a very all-around knot that you can use almost for anything and yeah and to secure it you need to don't forget to wet it you not so much but you wet it and before it, you you, you um, tighten it because it might burn the the nylon and then yeah it could break off okay trim it off nice and neat and just make sure it's secure uh, use a pair of pliers or uh, whatever tool you've got or device to make sure it's secure all right guys if you want any know how to do any of these knots just give me a shot okay then um, next we're going to put up uh, add uh, a bead now that bead is going to um, serve as a buffer between your spring and your hook to uh, to protect the knot so the spring doesn't matter what side what side you put it um, upside down or whatever because they they that's how they work yeah doesn't matter all right then next we're going to put up a another bead um also as a buffer um and add a bead as i said i don't think a color plays a big role but yeah 
So that's going to be a personal preference. How big, how small, glass beads, plastic beads. Yeah. And now we're going to add a gummy stop. So that gummy stop is there to control your 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 second hook. Um, you can control it if you want to have it right down, but up and yeah. So add a gummy. After that gummy, we're gonna add the second swivel um, to the trace. So um, that swivel, your top hook is gonna go on there. Um, I've already made the links there so um, yeah and then another gummy another gummy stop right so there's a second swivel on there and we put a gummy on top of that one so there's now two gummies and yeah um, and then we can put another bead. Um, okay, there's two gummies now. We can put another bead on there. And then what I'm gonna do is, okay, see there's a swivel now in the middle. Right, put another bead. That is also just to um, serve as a, a knot buffer. Then I'm gonna make a loop uh for the top so we don't use swivels or anything we're just going to clip it and i'll make my loops like this um it's because it just keeps it nice and round it doesn't obviously wet your knot before you, you you tighten it secure the knot and just trim it so it looks neat and that's we're like halfway there already okay great so now you just take your links and you can add it so you take your see that is um already done pre-made and we just add that one at the bottom i also use a fig of eight all right nice and straight with your knot, skirt, just note that I don't just pull it, I actually hold the knot with my hand and I pull it right down to the swivel instead of um, pulling the line from the top. It's another way to um, secure, some use a nail clipper that will hold it at the back. So, um, yeah, whatever works uh, to secure your hooks make sure it's nice and just trim it down and that's it that's uh, hook number one and now we just move to your top hook that's the bottom hook done and we add hook number two now with this gummy stops you can actually control it nicely to where you want to your hook to move yeah, your your top hook snoot right again figure of eight secure that one yeah, wait it hold the hold the knot in your hand uh, hmm. Right, with it. See, hold the knot, just pull the knot down so you don't burn your your mono, your mono line. So otherwise it warms up and it makes a weak spot there. Alright, hook is secured, trim it off. Nice and neat. Alright, now we like ready to go so guys i just want to explain you you can move your your hook the way you want it now you can move your top gummy you can you can 
there's now different ways that you that you can actually fish your your top hook now um, you can keep it away from your bait ball you can put it onto your bait ball um, you can let it run free you can let it so it's, it's a multi-purpose um, rig uh, if I can say all right uh, I hope you guys um, find this trace interesting and yeah this is what I fish for this is what I fish with most of my time like 95% of the time I fish with this um, with these rigs see ya. okay awesome thanks guys I hope this is gonna help someone maybe a noob out there someone that's new Fish on guys, fish on! I uh, just want to add um, on this bait, on, on this on this rod we've got this um, 4x4 uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, a fruity flavor uh, of magic baits yeah guys have a look there, 4x4 you probably need a 4x4 to land this fish if you put on this. <laughs> Just joking. 4x4, the name originates from, um, it's, um, I think, four different um, fruity flavors that's in here. It's like a banana and, and, and. Okay, so it's a nice fruity mix this. So great, guys. 4x4. You know what? Before we have to jump into the water to land this okie. Uh, not tiny. So I don't want to lose him. So I'll convert to plan B. Alright. So just stick with me. I hope the cameraman is at the right angle. Nice fish. Yeah, come on guys. Ugh. Yeah. Here we go. Let's see if we can get the weight. It's not big, it's about two kg. Okay. okay guys, 2.7 kilo. Almost three kilo fish. Guys, this is what we catch here. Yeah, we're just very fortunate to catch this fish here. So let's get it back. Just over two kilos, 2.7. Let's put it back. <laughs> 